it's a process of collaboration. It's not something we can simply achieve on our own. To achieve something that is going to speak to another generation, we need to collaborate, and we need to collaborate at a table where we can put all of our ideas on it without defending them, without trying to protect them, where we can be open enough to lay it all out so then we can find what is going to trigger the imagination, the curiosity, and the will to find an answer to those questions that arise out of that. The New Science and Technology Centre is a space for young people. It's designed for young people to grow up with us from babies into um, primary school and over into adulthood. It's a place to play and learn in the world of science and technology. Collaboration is critical to this project. Very early on we identified that we couldn't do it alone nor should we and we have sought input from a wide range of creatives and knowledge holders across Tamaki Makoto. Really early on in this project we partnered with local knowledge holder and creative practitioner Peter Ture. Peter brings a really deep knowledge of this place and he sees the opportunity for this centre and for MOTAT to be an anchor point for Matauranga science and tech. I'm mainly known as a storyteller uh, these days because the kind of stories I'm working on which relate to the history of Māori and Tamaki Makoto uh, is a history that hasn't been written and those bits that have been written have been written by people of another culture and so there's always been a need to dismantle what has been written and to find the context of how those histories sit within our genealogies in Whakapapa. This place was established when I was nine years old and I was fascinated with this place. I loved it because I loved machines. But as I grew up, I started to think, Museum of Transport and Technology, what about ours? Retaining our understanding of our world has had to be passed down in an oral culture. And so it's passed down within narratives and like every colonizer, those narratives have become mythology and disregarded this mythology rather than being explored for what they tell us about our comprehension of science and our understanding of our world. The Pona has become a key metaphor for this project and our aspirations. It begins with fresh rain from above that rain enters the ground and forms a deep pool or aquifer. It goes through this process of refinement, of enrichment as it moves underground. And then when there are cracks or fissures in the rock, it springs back up again as fresh, clear, enriched water. And for us, that is what we want for our young people, that we identify their potential, we nurture and enrich their potential, and then we allow them to fully realise their potential in this centre. So for me, what this represents here at MOTAT is an opportunity to empower the next generation to be able to recognise how science exists within an oral culture, within the Māori culture, and in the context of that within the wider Pacific culture.